How you doing, YouTube? Matt Massa Beer Reviews back with a little bit of Allagash Pilsner up in this piece in the form of their True Penny Pilsner. God damn, this has got this has got to be good. There you go. Review's over. It's excellent. Um, you never know. There's about been like maybe two misses for me when it comes to Allagash. They're Matt Forty. I'm not a big fan of. I forget the other one. Um, but almost all their beers really do me proper. So we'll dive into it. We'll see what we think. Uh, as far as what it says in a can, it actually says, uh, this Belgian style Pilsner delivers on its uh, promise of refreshment with a classic grain bill and noble hops. It distinguishes itself with a hint of wild beer, uh, blended for balance, refreshing, delightful, a true penny. I'm trying not to sneeze right now. Um, 5.5% alcohol by volume done and done. So they talk about wild. Hmm. They actually put wild yeast in here. I think it might. Eh, we'll see. We'll just dive into it. Wild. Is it more wild than just like a Belgian style yeast? Maybe a little bit of Brett going on, something like that. We're going to find out. But yeah, wild Pilsner. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, as far as looks go, um, yeah, it looks like an unfiltered Pilsner. Uh, league wise, it's really. Really nice labeling. I forget what this reminds me of. Um, almost like um, the old True Value logo. I think it is the way the font is done on it. Um, but something about it, I really like the way the can is done. Very not Allagash-like when it comes to the, uh, can design. So that in and of itself is pretty cool. As far as that beer looks, I mean, like I said, it looks like a uh, looks like a uh, unfiltered Pilsner. Soft haze to her. Not much as far as a carbon a carbonation, at least viewable carbonation, but as far as the head go, it looks absolutely spot on. Uh, crisp white head, exactly what you'd want from a nice lager beer. And that soft little unfiltered haze. Let's see if I get a nose. I mean, it smells like a really nice, well done Pilsner with a little bit of soft lagering, a little bit of kind of uh, citrus melon characteristics there in the hop. Very, very subtle, as you'd expect for like a low ABV. What is this, five and change Pilsner? 5.5% Pilsner. But there's that little bit of slight kind of Belgian bubblegummy thing. I'm not getting much as far as wild or tart or anything like that. More of a classic kind of soft bubblegummy vibe that you typically get from a Belgian ale mm. wrapped around that nice, soft, um, kind of crackery Pilsner malt. Um, a little bit of lager vibes. A little bit of those soft fruits from those hops. Let's dive in. Cheers. All here. No shit Sherlock time. It's delicious. Um, Yeah, I mean, it really has this kind of softness to it um, that you don't typically get in a Pilsner. You don't really want a Pilsner. Not that it's an overtly negative thing to have softness, but, you know, in today's beer world, people like that little bit of crispiness, a little bit more sharpness. It kind of has that, but at the same time, while it's soft, so it's a little bit of an oxymoron of itself. Because the way the hops come off, surprisingly sharp in the bittering of things. Uh, a little bit of uh, tannic tea-like herbalness, a little bit of soft citrus kind of rindiness. Even a little bit of green in there, too. Nothing too volume-esque crank to 11 there, but it's pretty readily apparent. On the other end of things, you have a little bit of soft citrus notes. There's really not much as far as melon vibes going on in there, um, but you do get that soft little subtle touch of that um, uh, uh, bubble gummy kind of Belgian yeast esteriness, and then it has that hop sharpness kind of elevates a little bit of kind of sharpness and crispness to the beer while that belgian side of things leaves a little bit of a soft kind of bubblegummy more confectionery powdery soft kind of vibe to it so it kind of hits both both um both points in a very fun and very delicious way listen uh no love uh, uh no mistaking my love for allagash here i mean they're one of my favorite breweries of all time so when i go into a lot of beers like this i kind of expect them to be really top notch really excellent now a lot of you out there would be like well you're kind of going into this beer with a little bit of homerism vibes. I actually think it's the opposite. I think I go into a lot of these beers expecting more. I shouldn't do that. I should go in there with a blank, blank slate and go into this beer without thinking about it all that much. But I kind of expect really good. And if it falls anywhere even close to short than it, then, you know, I kind of tend to get a little bit more kind of, I don't know, heavy handed on my negative side of things when it comes to Allagash. It's not the case here. I mean, it's just an absolutely well-made, crushable, delicious Pilsner with that classic Allagash kind of flair on it. That little bit of Belgian soul that they they almost purposely can't leave behind. And I never want them to either. Um, just really well done, tasty, 
drinkable, one of the better Pilsners I've had as of late. Let's get to that point. Is it? Yes, it is. But it has that little addition on there that is the Elegash Flare, and I really enjoy that. Uh, value and availability, I picked it up off the shelf. Taco's very excited about it. I picked it up off the shelf, I want to say, for 11 12 bucks for a Pilsner. That's where these Pilsners should really land. Um, I mean, in the grand scheme of things, they would be 6 bucks a four-pack, but, um, you know, for these artisanal Pilsners. Uh, I have no problem at that price point. Leave you with, if you like what well, we like this beer. If you like Pilsners, if you like Belgian singles, it's kind of somewhere between there. It's almost like a, a, a Belgian single and a Pilsner kind of had a baby. So if those are some of your two favorite kind of beers, then this one will do you all kinds of fun and proper. There you go. Another review in the books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Down there if you want to talk about it. Massive beers if you want to check me out doing the social media stuff. Beer Massive. Want to check me out doing the whole podcasting thing. And hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully you're enjoying a little bit of uh, Allagash right now. And hopefully see you next time. Cheers. <laughs>